to my adult coloring channel. In this video, I'm going to swatch and review the 120 set of Castle Art pencils. First, remember, if you like these type of videos, to give it a thumbs up so that I know what kind of videos to bring you guys in the near future. If you want to see more adult coloring videos like this one, please subscribe to my channel. Subscribing really helps in supporting my channel and gives me the ability to grow my channel and get it in front of as many adult coloring YouTubers as possible. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload new adult coloring videos. In the description box is where you can find a link to my Facebook group where we do color alarms, live coloring chats, and coloring giveaways if you would like to join us over there. In the description box, you can also find a link to my Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter if you want to follow me or any one of those. I have also added a donate button for those who are looking to help support my channel by donating any little amount is helpful and gives me the ability to keep bringing you guys new coloring books and supplies on my channel to review. Now, let's have some fun and get into this tutorial. So, I bought the Castle Art Soft Touch Pencils from Amazon and right now they cost $59.99 and you get a $10 off coupon which brings it down to $49.99. These pencils are considered a budget pencil and they are wax based pencils with a soft core. Since these pencils are considered pretty popular among the adult coloring world, I decided to go ahead and view them on my channel. I bought them a few months ago, but I am just now getting around to being able to swatch them. In part 2 video, I will review how they perform by coloring a page with them, but for now I will just swatch them and review them that way. So let's take a look at the pencils. So the pencils also come in this package and they come in um, they come in a, a case of their own that says Castle Art on them. And as you can see, it's a really big case. It's 120 in them. And it's a nice, it's a nice size case. Um, so you don't have to buy your own case when you get this set. You also can get the set that doesn't have the case and buy your own case if you want. They also have that where they just have it in a tin box. But I wanted to get the one with the case instead of going ahead and paying $20 more for a case when you can just get it in the set. So I'll open them up so we can see how they look. And this is how they look. They come in um, with these flaps that turn. And these are, um, like I said in, in the beginning, these are soft core pencils. But they're wax based. So the, but the core is really soft. And they also come with these little universal color system in them and it just says what else is what else they sell um the thing the other things that they sell the castle art sells they sell gel pens and um watercolor pencils and acrylic paints which reminds me i also have some go gooch paint that i bought that i'm going to actually review on my channel from them and then this is their color system um chart so we're today we're going to swatch and make our own chart. And so this chart actually includes their um their pencils and their watercolor pencils, their oil paint tubes, their fabric paints, and their oil-based paint pens and their acrylic paint tubes. So these are all the colors in the whole and everything that they have actually. And each box, like the circle, stands for the colored pencils. So everything on this list I don't have. I only have the circle ones that says color pencils, which is the 120 set. And so that's why I'm going to swatch out my own um, chart. And 
so we can get a rough draft of what the pencils look like on paper. And this is something else that comes on, um, along in it. It comes with um, something that says a colored pencil tutorial in five easy stages. And it just basically tells you how to color something. And you can, I guess, start by coloring this drawing. Um, I don't know where you get this drawing from, though. I'm wondering if it's on a website or something. But yeah, this is the directions to how to color this drawing. And they just give you each step and how to do that. And it's basically a tutorial. So, so I'll put those to the side for now. And so the pencils are, I'll take one out just so you can see it. But there's uh, one, two, three slots, four, five, <laughs> including the front and back. And the pencils have, they look, some, they look like this, and they have names on them, and they also have a number system on them. As you can see, that is, uh, I don't know if you can see that, it looks blurry, 113. And this is sap, the sap green. So that's how um, the pencils look. Um, I already sharpened all of them. So I always sharpen my pencils first before I swatch them. So they're already sharpened and ready to go. So let me get my swatch book out so we can go ahead and start swatching and see what these pencils look like and how they feel. So this is my swatch book for those who haven't seen it before. Um, I'm not going to go into how to swatch because I have a video already on my channel about swatching 101 and I'll link that in the, um, in the video if you want to go back and look at that to, uh, for a reference of how I go about swatching. But I have in here a spot saved already for my um, Castle Art pencils. And I just want to say, when I said I sharpen my pencils, the reason I sharpen my pencils is because when you first receive your pencils, they have a coating on them from the manufacturer. And you want to sharpen that, get that coating off of the pencils before you use them. So you want to go ahead and sharpen every last pencil before you use it. And so that's the reason why I always sharpen my pencils before I swatch it. And, um... That's also in my swatching one-on-one -on -one video about swatching. But um, I'll go to the page that I already have. And so this is the page that I already, this is the, um, where I already have um, set up my swatching for the Castle Art, Art Soft Touch 120 set pencils. And... Um, I've already written in the names and the numbers, and so all I have to do is just write in the scribble in the colors, and there are they are in family color order, so they're not in number order. They're in family color order. That's the order I like to put them in. You can put them in whatever order you want to put them in, but that's the order I like to put them in when I'm looking at my swatch book. And so I'm going to go ahead and swatch all of them here on camera and see how they feel. So I have my first pencil out and it's the Naples Yellow Light with 073. And I'm just going to go ahead and lay that down on the paper and see how it feels. And like I said, these pencils are very soft core. You do not have to press hard for these um, pencils to let out color, to get the color on the page. You don't have to press hard. They're very soft to be um, wax-based pencils. Another thing that I notice is that they hold their lead better so you don't you shouldn't have to sharpen as much but I don't know if you can see that but that's the light yellow it's not really showing up that much on camera but 
that's the light yellow. <clears throat> I'm going to go to the next color, which is the lemon yellow light. Yeah, and these are really soft and really kind of creamy. Some of them are creamy so far. I get a little wax build up, but not much. Nowhere near like the uh, Prisma color. And I'm just going to do the first, like the first few rows and then I'll speed up the video. But I just want to look at these light colors and see what they look like first before I do that. This is the Candom Yellow Light. And I like the fact that they do have a number system. So in the package, they come numbered in order. They're not in family color order. So I have to search around kind of a little bit to search for the pencil. But because they're in number order, I know exactly where to go. So it makes it a little bit easier. And this is a golden yellow. Lemon yellow. And so, yeah, I'm getting a little bit of wax buildup from these, but I guess that's what you can expect from wax um, pencils. But like I said, not as much as the Prismacolor um, pencils. But I don't mind the wax buildup in the Prismacolor pencils. I know some people, it bothers them, but it doesn't really bother me. Golden Yellow Deep. And this is really soft and smooth. I love that color. That's a really nice color. Really bright. Naples yellow. It's almost like a peachy, peachy kind of color. So I'm trying to lay down as much color as possible just to see what it looks like. It's how I usually do my swatches. I don't usually do a dark and then a light shade. I just do it all dark shade. Just get that true color down. This is brilliant yellow.
This is Camden Yellow Deep. Yeah, so I think the best thing that I like about these is so far is that they're really soft and that they're a, a budget pencil. They're half the price, so that's good. That's always good. <clears throat> Yellow Orch Light. Candom yellow. So these we are still in the oranges. Camden Orange Light. That's a very light color. That's another peachy color. So I'm not really able to get as many layers I'm noticing with um, with these pencils before it looks like it's not taking any more layers it could also be the paper but I swatched all my other pencils in the same book and I got more layers so just something to think of Mary Gold. Yeah, I'm just not getting that many layers there. No matter how many times I go over it. <clears throat> Yellow Orch. One thing is weird about these pencils is that I have a room where I have all my coloring supplies and all my pencils. And I noticed that when I got these pencils and I opened the case, they have a smell to them. It's not a bad smell, don't get me wrong. It's not like a bad smell. It just smells like wood. Like fresh wood. I don't know. I like it. <laughs> I like the smell. But it's, it's, it just reminds me like, ooh, new pencils. And it literally has my whole art room smelling that way, like fresh wood pencils. Maybe I'm weird. I don't know. But I don't mind the smell. It's not a, like I said, it's not a bad smell. It's just that I noticed it, the smell when I opened the package.
So if anybody else have these pillows, those terracotta lights, and you notice a, like a wood smell to them, let me know in the comments. So just let me know I'm not tripping and imagining it. Gen imagining this but none of my other pencils have that wood smell like that but these pencils do it also could be the package that they're in the case that they're in I'm not sure Flesh light. So yeah, if you're heavy handed, it's going to really take you a hard time to get used to these pencils because these are very soft. And I guess that's why they call them soft touch because it, you really use a soft hand for these pencils. You don't need much pressure behind that lead at all. And this one is flesh. So from here I'm going to go ahead, after I do this one, I'm going to go ahead and speed up the video and see how these other ones turn out from here and then I'll be right back when I get to a color that interests me. So from here I'm going to speed up the video. talk about some of these oranges first before I go on to this red but um, as you can see there's a nice collection of bright oranges here and the only issue I have is that I feel like some of the colors are close so close together like I feel like these two are really close together I mean there's a little bit of difference but and then I feel like these two are kind of close together a little and I mean I like the oranges but I just feel like some of the colors are just a little too close together um, the cinnamon I didn't like at all it was very scratchy feeling and I don't know why the cinnamon was so scratchy feeling but it is another thing that I'm noticing while I'm doing this this is the Vita, Vita Trend Red is that they are extremely extremely waxy they don't I mean you don't get like a lot of wax build up like Christmas per se wax bloom but the pencil just feels waxy is what I'm trying to say I'm not getting like you know a whole lot of wax bloom but I feel like this pencil is very waxy another thing is that because it's a budget pencil which I know, you know, most budget pencils, you're not going to get a lot of layers to lay down. But I, I'm not getting many layers to lay down um, in these colors. 
at all. And so I just want to note that also if you're a heavy handed colorist, I think you might have a problem with trying I think you might have a problem with these pencils because they're because they're so soft they they would break on you if you would press them too hard or you would just get a bunch of wax bloom if you press too hard and then they look scratchy so you have to go with the this is scarlet red you have to try to go with the light light hand they might be great pencils to practice that with because they make you remember that you need to go light handed with these pencils. So that you don't get so much waxy filling. I mean so far they have a great collection of colors. It's just that I think some of the colors are kind of close together in range. This is vermilion. And I know a lot of people like these pencils because you can't always afford to spend money on expensive pencils. And some people just can't afford that. So you want a budget pencil that can give you the same look as an expensive pencil would. I won't know if this will give me the same effect as an expensive pencil would until I do part two and see how they actually perform with blending and everything. That'll be the true test to blend them. This is Camden Red. Yeah, and see how that red, that, that red is just not really a deep red to me. But, I'm going to see if I can add more layers and make it a little deeper. You would think with the darker red it would be a much deeper color, but it's not. And so that's about as many layers as I'm probably going to be able to get on it. And I've even tried going this way, then, then the other way to see if I can add more layers. Well, it's a little deeper now. So I am going to speed up the video from here and finish swatching these colors.
is the way these colors are looking so far and um, what I want to talk about is these purples I like the way these purples are looking so far but again these purples are so close to each other that it's not really a big range and my biggest complaint with all pencils not just castle art is the purple and pink selection you never get this is cherry pink you never get a good selection of purple and pinks in any pencil set so if I was to make my own pencils the first thing I would do is make better pinks and purples because I think not only is you know purple is my favorite color but I think just sets just need more pinks and purples so this is cherry pink um, I like the the cobalt purple that's a really pretty color and um, the purple light is pretty also but the purple and the purple the cobalt purple kind of look close to each other these two kind of look close to each other these two kind of look close to each other so the ranges of colors I think could be a little more further apart but that's just my opinion so this is J Japar pink I think that's how you pronounce it and this rose pink up here I, this rose color up here I thought I marked down by mistake it's actually one of the watercolor colors it doesn't come in the pencil set so I made a mistake and wrote that one down but that one does not come in the pencil the regular pencil set it comes in the watercolor pencil set Grenadine like I'm wondering where are the lighter purples at like okay I see that they have darker purples but where are the lighter purples I think they could have did a better job in that area but a lot of pencil sets are lacking in purples I can't think of what pencil set I has the best purples in it so if you have a pencil set and you can remember what pencil set has the most purples in it and more range of purples let me know in the comments and pinks I think I would say the Prismacolor has more of the the pinks and purples but I would have to look at my set again and, and see if I was correct so this is Gren Grenadine Light And this is rose pink.
opera rolls. And again, this opera rose kind of looks like that rose pink. So this is what I mean when I'm saying like it's not ranging. Hmm. There's a little difference between the light grenadine pink. And there's a difference between the... This one is a little bit darker than that one. But these two are almost the same. Let's scoot this up a little bit. Azelu, Azella pink. Bingo Rose Light. That's a pretty color. It's almost like a lavender pink. And then lavender light. That's pretty too. I like that color. So it's like a light purple. There's your light purple. So this is the only light purple that I see so far. So maybe we're just now getting into the light purples now. So let me go to the next page. So on this page, I see we have more purples to do. So I'm going to start with the mauve. And that's another light purple. So that's a couple more light purples than what we had. Purple Lake Deep. So this is your darker purple. So that's the one thing I like about swatching is that I love that you can compare your colors and get a close-up look of your colors side by side to each other. It's just the best way to be able to see your pencils. So I love doing that 
comparison of the side by side comparison of the colors once you get them all on your swatch sheet or your swatch book purple lake So I'm going to go ahead and speed up the video from here. take back that it doesn't have many purples it has a lot of nice dark purples um, I like the mauve deep the mauve deep is really pretty the heather purple is really pretty um, I don't know if you can see that purple on there but it's it's really pretty um, let's talk about these blues these blues are just gorgeous blues like oh my gosh like um, I'm loving this ultramarine blue this ultramarine light blue is so pretty the um cypress green is really pretty and the primary blue is pretty so this set has a lot of blues and i don't know if you can actually see the difference in those blues but they also have different shades to them so they're not too close together but some of them are a little close like the um the Parisian blue and the um, Parisian blue and the cobalt is kind of close together. They're a little bit close together, um, but not too bad. I also like the indigo light. It's a little grayish blue, which is pretty. And I, I'm not sure if the current camera is giving that one justice either. But I'm so far liking these blues. So let me go ahead and go on to the next one which is Cer cerulean blue and you can never have too many blues never Cerulean blue middle. Oh, guess I was pressing too hard there. It's the first time I broke the lid. See, I have to remind myself also that these pencils are soft and not to go in with too much pressure. Unless you will snap your lead. 
But it's the same thing with Prismas. I mean, with Prismas, you can't go in too hard. Some of them you can, actually, but you can snap your lad if you're pressing too hard. Cerulean blue light. Cobalt turquoise, turquoise. Cobalt turquoise green. This is like a greenish blue almost. So I hope that I am not coming down with another sinus thing. A couple weeks ago, I had a sinus infection, and I was down for about a week, and now I feel like it's coming back. Because my throat is hurting just a little bit, and my I just feel weird. You know how you just feel weird when you're about to come down with something, teal green light? And I kind of just feel weird, like... My throat and my sinuses are hurting. Um, yesterday I had a headache really bad. It was sinus pressure headache. I don't know if the heat is causing it because it's kind of here where I live. It's kind of hot where I live today. I think it was like 80, 80 something degrees, 88 degrees, which we don't usually get too much hot weather. But... I'm not complaining because I love hot weather, but I don't know if it's messing with my sinuses here. So I'm just hoping that I'm not coming down with something teal green. It's the worst when you don't feel 100% like yourself. and I. I hate that feeling. So I like to do so much. I like to, you know, do my videos and get everything scheduled out for the week. Um, upload on all my social media sites. And when I'm sick, I don't have the energy to do none of that. Pletho turquoise. So I'm going to knock on wood that I'm not coming down with anything. <clears throat> so, um... The next one is Jade Green. But we're still in the bluish, like green, bluish green color. I think we're coming up on the greens now.
and I am just going to go ahead and speed up the video right here. the greens look really great and the blues look really great um, I think the greens are definitely a good range of greens um, I really like this castle light green and this leaf green is really pretty and the middle leaf green is really pretty um, I also like this deep green this is actually a mistake I just put that one down. That one is a paint pen, not in their colored pencil set. So that one's another mistake that I put in. Um, yeah, so the greens are definitely a really good range of greens, and I like them. And the blues were a lot of ranges too. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the next page and swatch the next page. So this is Oxide of Chrome And this is chrome green. I'm just going to bring it down a little bit so I can see it more. So I don't have much to go. So now I'm like in the darker greens. And so far all in all, the pencils I think are doing well with just swatching them. The colors look great. I mean, there were some colors that were close to each other, but for a budget pencil, I think it's a good deal. This is Terry Verdi Deep. It's like a charcoal green almost. So I'm just going to go ahead and speed the video back up and finish out this last bit of swatching and then I'll be back.
is the end of the um, swatching and I just want to go over some of the browns I don't I I'm not sure if this set has fewer browns than most sets but it looks like to me that it doesn't have many browns to choose from but it's a good shade of browns going on um, burgundies not so much one Indian red and that's about it in the burgundy brown so um, yeah, but um, it has one one light gray in it and one darker gray and some deeper grays in the black and the white. So I think this is a good, basically I think this is a good budget set if you wanted to get a budget set of pencils. I would definitely recommend this set. Um, the only thing is, is that if you're heavy handed, I would say maybe not this set maybe a different set because this is a very soft core pencil but let me know in the comments what you guys think of the colors of this set they're really nice colors and also let me know how they perform for you so in video part two i will do a performance um, and on them and see how they perform with blending and I will color a page with them to see how they perform. So thanks once again for joining my channel. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit your notification bell and have a colorful day. Bye! <laughs>